Hello, today we're going to be going over how to add a, a table to your WordPress website using WordPress Table Reloaded. Um, this is another tutorial provided by Compete Now. WordPress and eMarketing tutorials give you the key, what, keys to your web presence, put you in the fastest thing to assess. Learn more on our website at startcompete.com slash tutorials. Um, this is a great plugin to use to if you're going to be adding any kind of a uh, any kind of a schedule really. Um, whether it's schedule, even if you're doing a league and you want to do standings, um, and you'll see what you can you can determine what you can use it for as we uh, proceed. If you ever need to skip ahead, there's a table of contents below. That will get started. Um, I made a schedule page on my uh, dummy site here, so we're gonna go in and edit that. And um, first thing I want to do, I'm just gonna make this a sidebar template. Which has nothing to do with the plugin, but I just did not like the way it looks without the sidebar and this theme. Um, so first thing you want to do is go to plugins, hit add new, and you're going to search WP table reloaded. Uh, I also put a link where you can download it directly if you want and just upload it to your site that way. But um, you know, this t tends to be easier to do if you can. Just um, get WP table reloaded by Tobias Baths, uh, hit install, okay, activate the plugin, and there's two ways to add tables, um, I'll show you the, the, the first way without having to do any kind of uploading, uh, you're going to go down to settings, uh, oh, actually I'm sorry, it's under tools, WP table reloaded, all right, so there's nothing in here now. You, well, I'm going to show you how to import a table. Uh, it's my the per way that I prefer to do it, but I'll show you the easiest possible way, which you just hit Add New Table. Okay, enter the name, my schedule, description. You don't even have to put anything in here, but I'll say tutorial. and you do rows and columns so I'm just gonna keep it five by five but you can make that whatever you need it to be add table alright you'll see that these are all the fields that you're gonna be filling in uh, if you do know some HTML you can kinda of manipulate this to to do what you want um, but in this case I'm just gonna uh, show you how somebody with no knowledge could do this so you say Monday Tuesday Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. All right. <clears throat> we'll say 8 a.m. Copy. All right. 9 a.m. Copy. Then I'm just, I just want to fill all these in for the sake of the tutor tutorial, but if the schedule was like this you probably would just say Monday through Friday uh, 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. alright copy alright and that's it you can go on down and you see all these options we'll get into what you can do with those in a second I'm just gonna hit update for now now you want to want to add it to your page I'm gonna go to my schedule page now, when you install the plugin, it added a nice little icon for you. So you're just going to click in the spot where you want the table to go. And there's this little icon that says Insert a Table now. Hit Insert Table. And then you'll see the table you just made, and you hit Insert. And this makes a little short code. You can hit Update. And now you can view the page that has the table. And there it is. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and you have um, all your times showing. What you also have is, and it, I guess it would be necessary if you had a really elaborate table, um, there's data manipulation, which can't always be good, there's showing uh, entries, search bar. We want to take all that stuff out of there because you don't really, most of the time you're probably not going to want that, so you're going to go back and you can hit, there's actually, on all the tables it's pretty cool, there's a little edit button. Uh, at the bottom left of the table, so you can just hit that. 
I'll take you right to the table to edit it. I'm going to scroll down and I like to keep every row having an alternating background color. Uh, in this case, the, the, the ta first row is the table head. So that's what makes gives it that little bit of extra um, styling. So you want to keep that on because it makes it this little extra at the top. So you kind of want that. All right. And you can keep going. And all you're going to do is just uncheck everything. Actually, if you just uncheck this one thing, then it will uncheck all this for you. So just uncheck everything except um, every row has alternating color. And I like to highlight this one, row highlighting. That makes it easier for them to view also. So check that and uncheck everything else. Hit update changes. Okay. Now go back and refresh the page and you can look at what you did. See all that other stuff is gone and now you just have a nice schedule. And now that setting that we did where you highlight the rows will actually make it so that when they're looking at it, they can kind of highlight uh, by row, so it might just make it easier for them to to read if it's even if especially if it's a bigger, um, more elaborate table. Um, I'll show you a quick example of a website we built that we use this plugin, so you can get an idea of. Oh, I forgot we're moving this over to our new server, so I'll show you a different one. All right, now I'm going to go to their, um, let's say, meat, grocery. Here we go. We use this to list their grocery items. So you can tell that there's a whole bunch of things here, and this just makes it much easier for somebody to kind of scroll through and see what they have. So that's just an example of one thing you can do with that plugin. It's a great, useful little plugin. Um, so you know what you need to know to be able to use this. If you want to be able to upload and edit and do it a little bit easier, instead of having to just do it in this screen, I'll show you real quick right now. You're going to have to use something like so the equivalent of Excel. Okay. And I'm going to quickly do the same thing I did before. So let's say Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I'm going to go 8 a.m., 9 a.m., 10 a.m., 11 a.m., 12 a.m., p.m. Alright, so that's pretty easy, right? I'm just going to copy all those. Alright, now I'm going to save it as a CSV file. So to do that in Excel, just hit save as an Excel workbook and then when it goes to type, you're going to scroll down to CSV. You can't Excel, you can't upload Excel files to the to the table. You have to do comma separated, so CSV. All right. So I'm going to say my tutorials schedule. I'm just going to put it right on my, I'll keep it in my documents, whatever. Save. All right. And this is going to tell you that it can't have multiple sheets, which a CSV can't, but you can just ignore that. Um, save only the active sheet. And it's okay. Making any features, it's fine. Hit yes. And then I'm just going to close out of that. I'm going to say yes. Save changes. And save again. Hit yes. Yes. Um, I'm not sure why Excel makes it so weird like that, but just keep hitting those yes buttons <laughs> and you'll get out. And I'm going to do is hit import a table. And then you can hit CSV, add as new table. Uh, hit file upload, hit choose file. And I'm going to go to documents, my tutorial schedule, hit open, import table. Okay, now it's successfully been imported. You can see everything here. And I'm going to keep going down and I'm going to do the same thing. Uncheck that, uncheck this and this. And that's all I need to do. Update. All right, now I'm going to go back to the schedule. And hit 
hit edit this page. I'm going to put this this table right under um, right underneath this other one. So I'm going to go over to insert a table. And I'm going to see here it is right here. And then the second one I up I uploaded. Insert table two. Hit update. All right, and then you'll see it looks exactly the same. Uh, it has a, I did add a 12 p.m., but uh, you can see how editing in Excel could make things a lot faster. You saw I could up, I could easily paste all these rows, much, uh, all these columns, much faster. So uh, you can do it however you want, but probably would be easier in the long run to um, to do it that way. All right, so this has been a new tutorial provided by Compete Now, WordPress, and eMarketing tutorials. Give you the keys to our presence, but you're the fastest success. There's a whole bunch more on our website at startcompetingcom tutorials. All right, so good luck, and uh, we'll see you next week.